First thing, trimming your Scala skin, you want to use the new black trim tool that's in the package with the skin. G3 has redesigned the trim tool to make it uh, easier to trim the plastic part up here. So first step for trimming your Scala skin, like for any other G3 skin trimming, is going to be to remove the plastic backing. Now that you've got the plastic off your skin, next step is going to be to put your Scala on your ski. You want to be pretty careful about this. Uh, you only get one shot to trim your skin. So really take your time. A centered skin placement here will give you a good centered trim. Make sure your tail's adjusted properly and that it's nice and tight. And make sure then to also smooth down the glue so you get a good glue stick on the ski. You can look on the back side and see it's pretty well centered. You can look on the front, fairly well centered. So I'm happy with this. I'm going to start trimming. Now the way that I usually trim my skins is from the tit to the tail. I'm right-handed, so I always like to use my right hand to do my skin trimming. When I'm trimming this side of the ski, instead of having the ski facing me and having to use my left hand, I like to make the ski face away and then start this way. Now with the Scala, there's no glue behind the tip. Because of that, you have to be pretty careful to hold the tip down while you're trimming to keep the tip in the same place. In addition, when I'm trimming this way, I can't see that well. So you want to make sure that both the front and back guides of the trim tool go underneath the scala tip. And you can see this is a fairly hard ski to trim because there's not that much plastic showing, but this trim tool just grabs the plastic and does a nice job. And now that we're done with the plastic part, the rest of this trim is like a totally normal skin. It's just keep the edge, the trim tool flush to the edge, move at a steady speed. Right down to the bottom, you have a nice, smooth trim. Some people find that the plastic tip is a little bit hard to cut into. It can be easier to trim the ski starting from the tail. So put your trim tool against the edge. Make sure that both and the trim tool catch onto the fabric. Now here you're going to start getting into the plastic and when you do make sure that you hold the plastic down on the ski. You can see that we've got our edges exposed both at the scala tip and along the plush. We're pretty much ready to go ski. Now get out there and have fun.